Hello mathematicians and welcome to 2.6, intro to percent. Our essential question today is what does the word percent mean? Go ahead and grab your needed supplies. You need that writing utensil, your math notebook, a growth mindset, and some determination because we have four different learning goals today. We want to be able to say, I can define the word percent. I can identify percentages on a grid. I can write percentages as a fraction. And last but not least, I can write percentages as a decimal. So before we can start doing those things, we the first one was to know what the word percent means. So let's take a look at per. We've talked about per before when we talked about unit rates and we said that means divide in math. And so that kind of divide out of that sort of thing. But what about cent? Have you ever heard a word that has cent in it? You might have heard of century, which is 100 years, or cent as in how many cents make a dollar? 100. And so cent means 100. So percent means to divide by 100 or out of 100. Think about your grades at school. If you have a 90% on a test, you made a 90 out of 100%. Okay? So we've been talking about ratios, and this isn't a huge leap because percents are just special ratios where that second quantity is 100 since it means out of 100. We've got a grid here. It's a 100 grid. It's a 10 by 10, and I want to know what percentage of this grid is colored in. Well, these are rows of 10 because it's a 10 by 10, like we said, and I've got one, two, three of those. So 30 out of 100 are colored in. We call that 30% because, again, percent means out of 100. Take a look at this one. This time we have one, two, three, four, five, six complete rows of 10 plus four more, so we have 64%. What about this one? There's only three colored in. Three out of 100 is simply 3%. All right, I've got a new one or another one that's gonna maybe trick you up a little bit if you're not careful. Whoa, we've got a whole 100 colored in plus 20 over here. What percent is that? It's 120%. Even though the word percent means out of 100, that does not mean you cannot have more than 100. If I gave you a bonus question on your test and you got it right, plus all of the regular questions, you would make over 100% on your test. So in this case, we have 120%. Go ahead and try the next few grids on your own and come up with those percentages. Hopefully you came up with 75%, 8%, and 112%. All right. Our other learning goal was to be able to write percents as fractions. So keeping in mind that the word percent means out of 100. If I say 30%, I'm just saying 30 out of 100. So there's my fraction. If I say 64%, what I'm really saying is 64 out of 100. There's my fraction. Even when it's just that little 3%, it's 3 out of 100. Three hundredths. And then if I have 120%, we get a fraction bigger than one because it's 120 out of 100, okay? So whatever your percent is, you put it over 100 because percent means out of 100. And that's how you turn a percent into a fraction. All right, pause the video and try the next few on your own. So hopefully these are the answers you came up with. If not, go back and rethink those. And let's move into our very last learning goal for this video, percent as decimals. Before we can go too far, let's just talk about place value with decimals. We have the ones place, we have the tenths place, and then we have the hundredths place. Notice that hundredth is two places after the decimal. That's what we're gonna want because we're talking about percent out of 100. And so if we're gonna do it as a decimal, it's hundredths, it's two places after. Okay, those are the two places that we want to have numbers. Sometimes we'll have it in the ones, but not always. So 30%, if I want two places after the decimal, I take 30, I divide by 100, it's 0 0.30, okay? Now you can say 0 0.3, because remember we said 3 tenths and 30 hundredths are equivalent. We can simplify 30 hundredths down to 3 tenths. 64% would be 0 0.64. 
It's kind of like you have an imaginary decimal right here where my mouse is, and we're just going to move it back two places because we're dividing by 100, and 100 has two zeros. All right, so 3%. Now, this one is tricky, and this is the one that will mess you up. It is not 0.3 because, remember, 0.3 was 30%. It's 3 out of 100, and we said that with hundreds, we need two places after the decimal. So this one is 0 0.03. Again, that idea of this imaginary decimal and moving it one, two places. And so you have to fill in that place with a zero. Okay. So just be careful when you have a percent that's a single digit like this. All right. Last one is 120%. Again, if I've got that imaginary decimal and I move it two places, this is where we have a ones place. This one is 1.2 or 1.20. Okay. All right, pause the video, try those next few on your own. And hopefully these are the answers you came up with. If not, go back and rethink those and ask questions. Because mathematicians, that is the end of 2.6, intro 2%. Hopefully you have a little bit of an understanding of what percent actually means now. And let's go ahead and give that shout out to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, Bricks and Borders, and Pixel Garden Designs for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.